shocking news on immigration here in the U.S. This past week, Stephen Camarota appeared on Fox News show, Tucker Carlson Tonight. He presented what can only be described as shocking news on immigration here in the U.S. Camarota is the director of research at the Center for Immigration Studies, CIS. This organization is an independent, nonpartisan, nonprofit research organization investigates and reports on immigration. His report came from his latest article entitled, U.S. Immigrant Population Hit Record 43.7 Million in 2016. That number means that immigrants are now about 15% of our estimated population of 300 million. Here are some excerpts from Camarota's report. The nation's immigrant population, legal and illegal, hit a record 43.7 million in July 2016, an increase of half a million since 2015, 3.8 million since 2010, and 12.6 million since 2000. As a share of the U.S. population, immigrants, legal and illegal, comprised 13.5 percent, or one out of eight U.S. residents in 2016, the highest percentage in 106 years. As recently as 1980, just one out of 16 residents was foreign-born. Between 2010 and 2016, 8.1 million new immigrants settled in the United States. Mexican immigrants, legal and illegal, were by far the largest foreign-born population in the country in 2016. Mexico is the top sending country, with 1.1 million new immigrants arriving from Mexico between 2010 and 2016 or one out of eight new arrivals. The largest percentages of growth of immigrants from various regions of the world include 38% from South Asia, 34% from Sub-Saharan Africa, 29% from the Middle East, and 29% from predominantly Muslim countries. The largest percentages of growth of immigrants into various U.S. states include 48% in North Dakota, 41% in West Virginia and 20% in Michigan and Nebraska. If think these numbers are shocking, try this, the current immigration number reported as 43.7 million means that immigration has doubled since 1990, tripled since 1980, and quadrupled since 1970. Now here is the scary part of Kamatara's report, if we keep the current rate of allowing immigrants into the U.S., the 43.7 million will become 47.9 million in 2020, 56.9 million in 2030, 65.1 million in 2040, 72.3 million in 2050, and 78.2 million in 2060. And these numbers relate to incoming immigrants only and does not consider their children or grandchildren. The question that needs to be asked is this. Is it in the best interests of our country to continue this rate of immigration? If you believe the answer to this question is no, then you need to contact your representatives and senators in Congress and let them know of your concern. You can do that by going to this website and referring Camarota's report in your letters or email messages. Now hop to it, hop to it.